starting with them. They're certainly dancing out of their skins tonight. Yes, Yuka and Serpa are really having an excellent night. The togetherness of their bodies in the natural top that they just danced. Never a moment where there isn't some shape and activity. So the free arm is, is used with their bodies and it, it helps them with movements. One of the two German couples. The use of their dress, it helps in this particular part of the choreography. And Gal could be in Kashrina. Sometimes you see the, the ladies' hands don't have to be exactly compatible with the man's. personal battle with the other German pair tonight. They'll want to establish a superiority after this tie at the German championships. It's unsplittable ties are very rare, aren't they? Oh, it is extremely rare. It must have been quite a night here in Germany mm. when that happened. Corky and Shirley. togetherness in every single thing they do, right to their fingertips. Always finish with the music. Ah, yeah. oh, this are the other German pairs. I think you can have a look at these now, Pat. Ralph and Lydia. Very elegant couple. Again, such togetherness of movement. They were, were the champions in Germany, and then they had this tied situation, so they'll be out to establish themselves as a, a front runner again now over their German rivals. That's a different sort of costume, too, almost a leopard skin effect, isn't it? Yes, it, although it's um, a strong pattern, it's a very soft, moving, flowing dress, which enhances her movements. Now we're under number 30, Johan and Nadia Estadel, last year's runners on. Another extremely strong couple in their basic actions. But still are able to project a charisma. Basic figures. Yes, I've been watching them carefully all night. They're always one of my favourite couples, but tonight I don't think they're quite at their peak of form. It's going to be difficult for them to unseat the champion tonight, although they have in the past uh, beaten Sammy and Barbara. Yes, it's so. The line between all these couples is so fine and. Sometimes it's just when you have when you're judging and you, you've only got seconds to look and if there is one small thing that upsets you it, it puts a sort of a doubt in your mind. So throughout the performance you've got to try and eradicate anything that might not make a good impression with the judges. Yes, you've only got to be good when the judge looks at you, but you never know when the, when the judge is looking. No. So we still have six in the final. Ah, now what's this? We have number 30 and number 75, last year's champions and runners up, absolutely side by side at the start of this rumba. Eyeing each other up, trying to impress the crowd. Oh my word, that was rather nice. 
Oh, where are they going? They're walking. They're walking away. Right up the floor. Superb leg action. They try and produce a story within the rumba. And here is very clear where Sammy is inviting Barbara to walk along the floor to show herself off to the audience. Yes, just looking up their record, uh, Sammy and Barbara, the defending champions, uh, in 1990, uh, there was a leg injury, I think, that kept, kept them out, and uh, they, they won in 1989, and uh, Sammy was actually a winner in 1983 with a previous partner. So there's a nine-year gap from when he first won the title. Back onto one of the German pairs. Donnie and Gaynor are world champions of the moment. Yes, they've not danced in this event for a couple of years now. Mm. And back with the defending title holders. And looking likely to retain the title, I think. We have composure. Yes. Corky and Shirley. Shirley was the previous partner I mentioned a little while ago who won the title back in 1983 with Sammy. Pretty good, don't you think? Yes, they produce such fantastic body shapes that emulate the matador. With such speed of movement. And then the frozen line position. Yes, it's always a contrast that makes things so appealing. that uh, Efterdells won the Paso Doble at the UK Championships in January. So they'll be hoping to repeat that tonight. But there's Sammy, Sammy and Barbara challenging the ball or anyone else to take their title away. They're not going to give in. They're here to win. So there does appear a strong determination to show what they're made of. Yes, well, the UK was a, a, an uncomfortably close result, wasn't it? It was, and I think that has made them more determined to make it clear. Uncomfortable for them, of course. Yes. <laughs> Comfortable for the runners, I It's your right, Pat, tonight. I want to stamp their authority. As will the German couple over their German rivals. Lydia, Jimmy in Germany proud, Sammy and Barbara, Kelly in the English flag. Cork and Shirley Ballas won the jive at the UK Championships. They're really the cat among the pigeons, as they say. We'll be hoping to do something again tonight. They've done it once, they could do it again. That's right. Each of the couples obviously has to be on their toes to give their peak performance this evening. I don't know where this Finnish boy finds his strength and energy from, but he's really moving, he's really going.
people. He likes to play in the jive. Yes. He still has to keep the rhythm going, and it doesn't really matter when he does this, as long as the basic principles are adhered to. But that Sammy Stockton's having none of it, is he? He's really turning it on. He is, indeed. It's gone into the middle, so there's absolute comparison. It's easy to look at the nose and make your decision. And Lydia, just perhaps tiring Thank just you, in those Tachi. last few bars. Long, Thank hard you. competition. Yeah, it's not surprising, but I think they all did so well. Five dances every round and 153 couples. That was the best six. And they're getting a standing ovation. Sammy Stockford and Barbara McCall.